Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a uh, review on the Ninja Pro 684500 high pressure, mid pressure, or low pressure tank. Um, it's kind of a combination of reviews on the Pro Regulator and the Ninja tank itself. Um, so we're going to kind of combine them into one. Now this uh, video we're going to cover three main, I guess you could say, categories. First is going to be the features. Second is going to be showing those features on how they work. And then the third, the third will be my personal opinion over it and the overall review. So we're going to go ahead and get started by mentioning the main features of the tank. The tank itself is a very nice lightweight tank. Um, they come with this, jer I guess you could say, gel coating. It's a type of gel coating here that covers the entire tank and protects it. Um, this is a little bit different than their Duro coats, which they, which they just came out with a couple months ago at World Cup. Uh, this is not a Dura coat. This is just their standard uh, coating on the tank. It's a gel cover. Works really nice. Gives you that little bit extra grip. Obviously, you might still want to use a tank cover, but it works fairly decent as far as even without a tank cover. Um, and it protects your tank, and it overall makes it look really good. And that's pretty much all there are, is to the tank itself. Five-year tank, uh, pretty standard, and it is very lightweight compared to some of the others on the market. Now, when it comes down here to the regulator. Uh, this is the Pro Ninja Pro regulator. This is the adjustable series, so this is not an SLP or an HLP, which is super low pressure or super high pressure. Um, this is just their standard adjustable one. And what that adjustability allows you to do is set it at high pressure, mid pressure, or low pressure. Uh, what really comes in handy with these is it's really easy to do. Uh, you just take out a couple of shims if you want it low pressure, add a couple of shims if you need a high pressure. And it works really nice, especially if you're a person like me that switches out with guns a lot. Um, it's always nice to be able to have that option for low pressure, especially if you're uh, interested in bob long guns and such. So it's really nice to have that. Now that's not a super low pressure, so you can't get quite the consistency as the super low pressure with the low pressure gun. However, it works just as good and really there's not that too, too much of a difference. Um, the main thing with the Pro Regulator is it is adjustable, so that allows you to put the gauge and the fill nipple wherever you need it on your uh, gun, and we'll show that in a second. Uh, comes with the standard, the new uh, standard, I guess you could say, gauges. This is like a micro gauge, I guess you could say. It's very small, yet it's very, it works really good, and you can still see the numbers on it. However, it's a lot smaller, so it's not like digging into your wrist or anything like that. Two burst disc on the side, just pretty much standard burst disc. Uh, and I believe this is their micro fill nipple. It might be their standard. I'm not 100% positive on that, which one I have here, but. Uh, just a standard fill nipple and don't have any problems with that either. Uh, also, one quick little thing I almost forgot to mention is it is dual, uh, dual, eh, cannot say that word, dual O-rings. So there is two tank O-rings on here just in case one blows. That's a really helpful thing and I really think it's, why not put it on there because it's just a double safety I guess you could say and it works really nice. So we're going to go ahead and stick it on a marker here and show you exactly how it looks and then how to adjust the, uh, the, gauge and fill nipple to the position you want. Now I've gone ahead and set this to the wrong position so we can show you, but we'll go ahead and just uh, screw it into the gun here, and I'm going to try to do this on camera. There we go. So go ahead and put it on here, and as you can see my fill nipple is on this side and my tank gauge is on this side, and that's just going to cause problems with my wrist. So to adjust that, there are three set screws on this silver uh, band around here. All you have to do is loosen those, and that does not it's not very hard at all, just simply loosen them up a little bit on all three. And once you've done that, I've already kind of pre-loosened these, okay, so they might be a little bit harder to get undone, but once you've got them loosened just that little bit, you can go ahead and hold the gun and turn it clockwise, otherwise you might um, undo the gauge or undo the tank from the gun, but you can just turn it, adjust it to exactly where you want it on your marker. Then go ahead and tighten those set screws down, and it will now be that way every time you screw the tank in. So anytime you use it on this particular marker, the gauge is going to be in the perfect position. Now one thing I did want to note, if you guys can hopefully see this, um, and it may not show up the best because my camera, um, this actually has air in it. I believe has just about 1500 PSI in there, so you can do that with air in the tank. It works really well. Um, and you know it's just really easy setup. Once you set and tighten those down, you're not gonna have any problem with it moving around, and it works great. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off. Um, that's exactly the features and how it works. I'm gonna go over my personal opinion, and when I cover my personal opinion on this, this is gonna be on pretty much the regulator and the tank, uh, and this kind of goes for any of them. Obviously, you cannot. It's your own personal preference on which size you prefer. These come in 68, 45, 40, uh, 45, 45s, I believe. 
as well as a few large sizes. I think a 70, they now sell a 70 and a 90 even, I believe, cubic inch. So really, it depends on your size, what size tank you should get. However, my personal opinion, I've had several different ones, Gorillas. I've had Gorilla Air, I've had Empires, uh, or Slash Pure Energies. Um, I've had a few off-brands, I've had Crossfires, and I've had Ninjas now, and I really think it's one of the lighter ones on the market. I would not say it's the lightest 6845 on the market, but it is one of the lighter ones. Um, as far as the red goes, excuse me, the dark coating, it's very similar to Gorilla Airs, however this has a little bit more grip to it, and they really do have some, uh, it really works great on this, I'd say even a little bit better than Gorillas. Obviously some of your others don't come with that, so I can't compare them. Um, but overall, I would say the tank itself is a very nice tank. It works great, and I don't have any complaints. It's not too overly big or anything like that, and it, it works 100%. I mean, there's not much you can have wrong with the tank. When it comes to the reg, I am super impressed. Um, the regulator is one of the easiest, and it kind of, I guess you could say, the big comparison is between the Myth G2 reg and the uh, Ninja Pro. And I've done a review, I believe, on the Gorilla Air. If I haven't, I apologize. Um, but I've done a review on that, and the Gorilla Air, for what it was, it was really nice. It had, I think, a total of eight different positions you can put it in, which is really nice. However, the Ninja, Ninja kind of outdid them on this with the adjustability of being able to completely, just precisely put it exactly where you want it. There's no set position. It can be 360 degrees, so that's really nice. It works great. The reg length is definitely smaller or shorter than, I guess you could say, some of their older ones. It's a short reg. It's obviously not as short as a Myth G2, but it's very short, and I have no problem with that. It gives me that little bit of extra length that I prefer. Obviously, that's going to be different per person. Uh, the gauge works great. I really like the small size. And overall, it's really nice. Uh, another reason I personally really like this over any of the others, it's really easy to swap out uh, for different pressures. You don't have to buy anything additional, and that's really, really key for me, especially, like I said, because I run Geos and... Uh, Bob Longs and Planet Eclipse and all those different markers as well as some cheaper ones, uh, Zodins and stuff like that every now and then, Invert Minis, and some of those guns don't work with the greatest on low pressure, so it's very nice to be able to switch that out uh, anytime you want to and not have to go out and buy new kits or anything like that. Um, so I think that's it. The other thing I wanted to quickly mention is the fact that you can adjust this with air. So if you're putting this on another tank and you got five, you got not five thousand, you got like two thousand psi left in your tank, and you're wanting to put this on a different gun, get it set up for the next time you go out and play, you don't have to empty your tank like you do with the gorillas. So that's another key feature. The last thing I wanted to mention is Ninja has some of the best customer service. When I received this tank from uh, an online seller, the gel coating had cracked on this. Um, it was spider webbed all over it and called Ninja. They knew exactly what they were talking about, sent it in, and they got it fixed really, really, really fast. Didn't cost me a dime. Um, they put a new gel coating on me on it and sent the new uh, sent the tank out again. And I have to say that's better than what I've had some. Uh, I guess you could say encounters with other customer service. They really do have some of the best out there as far as I'm concerned. They're really nice to talk to. I've called with some stupid questions. Uh, once I found out the answer, they've seemed really, really stupid. They're very nice. They always want to help. And I have to say that's one thing that's awesome about Ninja. That really does make them stand out above all other companies out there at the moment. So overall, I am impressed. I would give this tank really a 9 out of 10. The only thing you can do better would maybe lighten it up a bit. But seriously, it's one of the best tanks on the market. Um, the one thing I would like them to do is see about coming up with a new... Uh, uh, yes, I cannot think. Burst disc design. The Pro Burst disc on the Grill Air are really nice because they don't give you any opportunity of scraping your wrist. These do a little bit, but that's not a downfall. That's just more features that can come out with new uh, later. Overall, I have to say, if you're debating on it, definitely go with it. Check out the Dirt Coats. They have a lot of different color options and they look really cool. I would check those out as well. But overall, again, I would say 9, 9.5 out of 10. Best, one of the, my personal favorites and best tanks out on the market at the moment. Any size you want it, it really is one of the one of my personal favorites. So hopefully this has helped guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. And I apologize, I keep having to hold it here because it likes to roll off. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash nerf to me, or excuse me, <laughs> facebook.com slash nice to me too. And you can leave any questions over there as well and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, if you have any other inquiries, send them as a private message. Check out my other videos. Thumbs up would be greatly appreciated and a subscribe if you like the videos and want to see more. Thanks guys for watching and have a nice day.